Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing the first check-in of 2024 on Project 10 Pan. But we're also going to mix it in with a couple of favourites from the last month. I used to love favourites videos. I never really filmed them. I used to love watching them. They've kind of gone a little bit out of fashion, but I kind of don't care and I kind of want to bring it back. And I feel like it's a nice way to, to kind of catch up on where I've been in the last sort of four weeks, four and a half weeks, how Project 10 Pan is going and a few other products that although obviously they are the focus, a few other things I'm also loving. So I've got some makeup, I've got some skincare, I've got a couple of like lifestyle favourites. So let's go for the favourites and then we can go through Project 10 Pan at the end because we have finished some products. So I've got a couple of favourites I want to chat you through. I'm going to start with makeup. I've got three makeup favourites and then three sort of skincare hair care favourites and then three life favourites. The first makeup favourite is a oldie but a goodie. This is the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. Honestly, with the kind of glowy base I'm using in Project 10 Pan, and honestly most of those products could be favourites, but with the glowy base I'm using there, this and a concealer, your skin or at least my skin looks beautiful like so glowy and stunning I'm actually not wearing this today but it is one of those products that I absolutely adore I'm quite a way through I don't think it's gonna be one I'm gonna put in project 10 pan until I get towards the end of it because I don't want to like rush my way through it I absolutely love it and I reserve it for a day where I don't want to wear too much base like the coverage of this isn't great so my skin's already looking pretty good I just need like a little bit of some in some in and that's when I use this I love it it's amazing it leaves your skin looking and feeling so healthy and glowy and plump but yeah the coverage is like the second makeup favorite so there was a cold girl makeup aesthetic that went absolutely nuts for no reason whatsoever on instagram and i kind of fell in love with it as a concept i'm not wearing it today as you can probably tell i've gone for more like traditional blush but the kind of red toned blush honestly looks stunning and this one is an amazing blush to do it with this is the pixie on the glow blush in the shade ruby and the reason why i love this blush so much is because obviously this looks quite intense like if this obviously was this exact color on your face that would be insane but you swipe it on your cheek and it blends out and it looks so glowy and glossy and like you just look so healthy and then you've got this like lovely red undertone they do have other colors i think they've got three shades i think this is my favorite i absolutely love it it's so pretty the last kind of non project 10 pan related favorite is a set of nail polishes I kind of go in and out of phases of wearing nail polish. I actually just took last week's nail polish off. I need to kind of repaint them. So I obviously need to pick a shade, but I've really been into it recently. It's a really good way for me to make sure I don't chew my nails because if there's nail polish on them, I just don't do it. And I bought this set from Cult Beauty and it's a set of Nails Ink nail polishes, but they come in like the most stunning kind of brown tonal shades. And I feel like this is just perfect for this time of year. I find the shade on the end a little bit odd for my skin tone, but these three are so stunning. And nails ink nail polishes are amazing. We all know that, but I just really love these colors, especially if this time of year, I feel like obviously when we come around to spring, these will retire until probably the next winter, but big fan. So all my other makeup favorites have actually ended up being Project 10 Pan. So we'll go through that at the end. I've got three kind of skincare, hair care favorites. I'm obviously still loving all the products I mentioned in my 2023 favorites video. So that was like, what, four weeks ago? But a kind of newish favorites that I haven't spoken about between now and then. One is this. This is the We Are Paradox Volume Blow Dry Spray. I think I got this in an advent calendar, but I could also have that wrong. I've never really been a blow dry spray kind of person until I became a blow dry spray kind of person. Honestly, I cannot tell you how much of a difference this makes kind of at your root. So you know when like you first wash your hair and your hair's really kind of silky and like slightly unmanageable and you don't quite know what to do with it. If you spray one of these kind of products in your hair, it kind of just gives your hair a little bit of some in some in here. And you see like I've just done a little bit of this and like look Look how much more volume there is on that side of my head than that side. If I like even it out now, big, big fan. Have really enjoyed these or, or this. Um, we'll continue using it. 
My other two favourites are, I received them in PR, but I have like full on fallen head over heels in love with them. They're from a brand called Monday Muse. And like, not only is the packaging like so beautiful, these are the calmest, most hydrating products I think I've ever tried. I've got the Soft Milky The Cleanser and then the Vitamin Facial Oil Nectar Face Oil. And honestly, so hydrating. This is like not the best cleanser as in like in terms of like makeup removal or anything kind of stubborn but as a second cleanse or as a morning cleanse absolutely love this it doesn't like sud up there's no like soapy like suddy feeling which does take a little bit of getting used to if that's something that you are but it leaves your skin looking and feeling so healthy and not remotely stripped like not you know sometimes you get that kind of like squeaky clean squeaky clean feeling which i do really enjoy but squeaky clean feeling which in the middle of winter my skin probably doesn't need because that's just like really drying this is so hydrating big fan love it and then the face facial oil it's one of those like a really nice facial oils you want that's like really hydrating it sits on the skin for a little bit but then it's like love it big big fan we'll keep using these yeah they are my like beauty favorites i've then got three lifestyle favorites so one is a book i've been reading quite a lot of books recently my task for the year is to read 25 books but i've actually already read five books and it is the end of january so i think i might have to like reset my reading goal for 2024 but i'm gonna keep going as i am regardless this book I loved. I don't know why I said that quite so slowly, but I absolutely loved this book. It's by Steve Kaminar, who also wrote the book 13, which I also absolutely loved. This book was called 5050. It's not the most romantic sort of TikTok aesthetic. You know those people who recommend books on TikTok? I don't feel like this is one of those kinds of books. But if you love a detective, like a detective novel, but not written from a detective, like it's written from the, the viewpoint of the two lawyers arguing each side of the case it's so good so this is what it says on the back 911 what's your emergency my dad's dead my sister sophia killed him please send help and then on the other side my dad's dead my sister alexandra killed him please send help one of them is a killer one of them is a liar but which one i cannot tell you how many times i flip-flopped between my decision of which sister did it it was honestly so good and i i read a lot of like detective novels so i'm quite good at i quite often work out who did it before i get to the end but honestly couldn't couldn't make my mind up could have been either of them you obviously find out who it is at the end but it could have been either of them yeah big big fan so the next favorite is a fashion favorite if you've watched a couple of my videos you'll notice this jumper like pops up every five seconds <laughs> it is this which is a uniqlo i don't exactly know what the style is called because honestly this is alex's jumper and i stole it <laughs> But it's a Uniqlo green jumper. It's got like a, I don't know what you call this, a high neck something or other. And then it's like a slightly, slightly cropped, but not really jumper in this like gorgeous, gorgeous green color. It's so soft and the cut is beautiful. The color is like, honestly, it's the only real piece of clothing I think I've ever had from Uniqlo. It's a store that Alex shops in all the time, but not a store that I've particularly of particularly warmed to, but this jumper is stun. And then the other favourite I feel like is the one of the most talked about shows of the last sort of, six months, but I did really enjoy it. It's like everything I love about the books that I love in a TV series. And I do also love the author who wrote the book behind the show. I haven't read this particular book, which I'm quite glad of because it meant I had no idea where it was gonna go. But I do have a couple of his novels on my to, like read list. So I'm just gonna tell you what it is. It is Fool Me Once, which is a Netflix show with, what was her name? with Michelle Keegan in it. It went absolutely everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's based on a Harlan Coburn novel. I've read one or two of them before. I've got one or two of them on my to read list. Yeah, I love it. It's so, so good. And honestly, it was one of those shows where I could not tell you where it was going. I felt like she knew more than she was letting on, but like, wow, big, big fan. So they're my favorites, but the bit that we're all here for and the bit that I'm the most excited about is Project 10 Pan. Let me get my little, my little thing that's been sat on my desk. And we've got some empties. We've finished up some of these products, which is so satisfying and exactly what I needed to achieve, especially in month one. Some of these products I'm actually gonna keep in and just keep finishing through to the end. And then some I will obviously finish, so I need to replace them. And then some I want to trade out. So let's chat through the January Project 10 Pan and how, how the progress went. 
I'm gonna pop this down. I can't remember exactly what order I talked about things last time, but I'm gonna talk about them in like a slightly logical order. So the first one is the Radial Soft Focus Glow Drops. I feel like, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I feel like it was up near the, the R of Rodial, and now we're like down here. I feel like I've made such good progress with this, and honestly, I've really, really enjoyed it. I feel like I'm almost like a convert now to the glowy base life. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's gonna be really sad when I finished it, but I do have two other products in my makeup collection, which is basically the same thing. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is obviously still got some product left, so I'm still gonna keep using this. This is gonna stay in Project 10 Pan, but I think that's some, that's some solid progress for one month. Right, I needed to plug you into charge, so sorry if you've moved slightly. Then the second product, I've actually finished. <laughs> this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer, which as you can see, is completely used up. I've actually like full on pumped this for like countless minutes and there is no more product left in here. So this is a product that needs replacing and I'm gonna replace it with another concealer. There's a concealer that's also very close to being finished, but there's a concealer that I need to use. The product this is gonna be swapped out with is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And this is because I've had this for a suspicious amount of time and it really needs to be finished. So this is what we're looking at. Let's see how much of this I can use up in the next month. So first two products are done. This third product is also a finished product. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. To be fair, I knew this one was quite close to being finished, so I didn't necessarily mind so much that I finished this one up so quickly. But yeah, I finished this one up. I've done all the squeezing you could possibly imagine. It honestly looks grim though. My opinion of this product is still relatively similar. Like it's a nice, like actual product. I think it was in a different container and there was probably more of it for the price. I would really like it. The problem is it goes, you go through it quite quickly and it's not cheap and it just, it looks so grim, like so grim. But yeah, I finished up this product. So we've got two empties and obviously I need to replace it. And we all know my ultimate objective is just to be down to my one cream bronzer that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna replace it with the Merit, what's this called? Bronzing Balm in the shade Clay, which I haven't used much of at all. So this is pretty much new. So it's obviously gonna take probably a little bit of time to work my way through it. So yeah, quite a lot of product there, but by using it every day, see where we are this time next month. If I roll it all the way down to the bottom, that's what it looks like. So I'll see you in a month's time. Let's see how far through that I can get. Product number four is like so close, like so close to being finished. And I thought this was gonna be another empty, but I just haven't quite made it. It's the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And look, honestly, this is like, oh, it's even cracked off. It's so, ooh, so close. Can you see that little bit in the corner? It's it's honestly like painfully close. I think I will probably finish this up in within like a week. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing the back of it. I've been using it as bronzer, as contour, as eyeshadow, and I kind, I, I do like it. I have really enjoyed it. I am really looking forward to using something else. So I will obviously keep using this and fingers crossed, it should be an empty come the end of February, but there you go. The next product, I wasn't expecting to be finished. I'm quite still away from being finished, but I think the progress has been really, really strong. And this is the Tarte Quirky Blush. And I, like, look at that pan. It is growing. So yeah, I mean, I think this will be the first blush I've ever finished, ever. <laughs> and so I kind of want to keep it in this thing to see if I can actually get through the whole thing. I've been using it every single day, either as a blush on its own or as a layer over cream blush, depending what mood I'm in. It does mean I kind of have temporarily abandoned all of the blushes in my collection, but I'm I'm like so fascinated about how quickly I can work my way through this. So I'm gonna keep this on the go. The packaging has gone a little bit funky because I've been traveling with it, but such good progress. I'm really, really happy. This is obviously gonna stay in Project 10 Pan. We then have the Trish McAvoy Intense Gel Liner in the shade Deep Aubergine. I used this a lot at the beginning of the month and then kind of abandoned it towards the end. So as you can see, I haven't used 
a huge amount. I mean, I have used it obviously significantly more than if this project didn't exist, but this is one that I want to keep because I don't feel like I've scratched anywhere near the surface of how much this product I can use. So yeah, this is gonna stay in Project 10 Pan. I have learned I don't like this on my lower lash line. It's only an upper lash line eyeliner. But yeah, I'm gonna keep using this because I don't feel like I got the usage out of it I wanted to in January. I'm now going to exercise the rules I have to replace products that are in Project 10 Pan, even if they're not finished. And the two that I'm going to use that for is the eyeshadow topper that I'm using and the lipstick that I added. And it's because I kind of want this to push me to kind of use stuff more frequently, but then not to get stuck on these two products for so long that I kind of don't use anything else. And I'm so happy that I included these two because they have properly made me fall back in love with them. But I don't want to just use them because I'll get fed up with them and I'm quite looking forward to having something new. So the first one is the e.l.f. Uh, what did we decide this was called? The Liquid Glitter Shadow. And this is the purple one. You can see there's like a little bit of a break here in terms of like, I've actually used it a fair amount. And honestly, this is one of those things that because I was kind of like forced into using it, I actually realized I really, really loved it. It's a really pretty kind of eyeshadow topper where there is a color to the shimmer, but there's no, there's no like base color. So the glitter is purple, but there's no like purple base to it. So honestly, it's actually really wearable. And I have really, really enjoyed using this. And I do now think it will be something that I reach for far more often than before. So so, so glad this was included, but I don't want to use it so much that I'm kind of fed up with the thing. So I'm going to return this to my actual makeup collection and replace it with a very similar type of product, but something that I have and just haven't really found the, the love of yet. And this is the By Terry Ombre Black Star, and this is in the shade Bronze Moon. I've had this for years. I feel like no one talks about this anymore, but I absolutely love it. But I also just never ever use it. So I'm including this in Project 10 Pan for the month of February to see how much I use of it in one month. I feel like it's the perfect time of year for it. We're in like winter time. We're not really getting into spring vibes yet. So this is gonna be the new product in Project 10 Pan to replace my e.l.f. cream liquid shadow. And the other thing I'm going to swap out is the lipstick. So I've been using the NARS Power Matte Lipstick in the shade Thunder Kiss and part of the reason why I added this in is because I absolutely love the formula but I thought I didn't love the colour and I thought by using this I might get through the lipstick quicker and so I can go buy a different colour but it's actually and it's what I'm wearing today, it's made me fall in love with the colour which I'm so happy about. I felt like it was probably not the colour that I thought it was going to be when I ordered it online and that's why I was a little bit like about it but I have really really enjoyed it and if you can see in there that's how much of it I used which is like not astronomical amounts but it is quite a lot and if I roll it all the way up that's like some half decent progress like it's not amazing but also it was a brand new lipstick so happy I included this because I've fallen back in love with it but I don't want to it's the same thing as eyeshadow topper I don't want to like use the same thing every single day so I'm going to swap this out and add in a new lipstick and the reason I'm going to add this one in is because I've had it for a suspicious amount of time and I really just need to let me just twist it around and I really just need to finish it up and this is the Fair Minerals lipstick in the shade Honesty it's one of these like little tiny travel ones and there's still a fair amount of product in there but I feel like I might be able to make some decent progress with it and it's quite a nice colour. And then for the two sort of not makeup items, we've got the Yardley Flowerful Fragrance, which as you can see, I have finished. It's another empty. I liked this fragrance. I didn't think actually adding it into Project Temper made me fall in love with it towards the end, but I am glad that I finished it. I'm glad that I used it completely up rather than like throwing it away. Something's weird's happened to the lid. Can you see that? It's like dirty. But yeah, I liked this. It wasn't a favourite. The product I'm going to replace it with is another fragrance. And the reason why I'm adding this in is because I've had it for a suspicious amount of time. And it's the Ted Baker Woman Fragrance. I don't even know if Ted Baker still make fragrances or not. But I have had this for years. And I don't know if you can see from the slide, there's still quite a lot of product in there. And I just haven't used it. It's like, it's one of those little samples that's just have a bottle. You kind of have to like 
still smells all right. But yeah, I'm gonna try and use this up because no one should own a perfume sample for that length of time. And then the very last product, which is still on the go, but I think I've made some good progress with, is the Skin Proud Refresher Hydrating Facial Mist. And this is where I've got to. Still something I'm gonna be using. I've kind of been using a little bit of setting spray, which I've quite enjoyed. And yeah, I'm gonna keep using this. I'm gonna keep seeing how far through this I can get. And then I have one makeup empty that actually isn't part of Project 10 Pan, but I feel like I might as well mention it here because while we're talking about things that I've used up, I finished the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. I purposely didn't add this to Project 10 Pan because it was something I was just gonna finish naturally on my own. But I like the product. I absolutely hated the packaging. It was honestly so, I think there probably still is a little bit of powder in there, but it's so difficult to get it out. I don't know why they don't make this like stopper, something you can pull out. It's like, ugh. So yeah, I like the product. The packaging has put me off of it. So I probably wouldn't repurchase, but I finished a makeup powder. Let me put my Project 10 Pan products back in this little container and I can show you what we're playing with for next month. And here you go. Project 10 Pan for February, 2024. I am that fragrance. I think it's gonna be a layering fragrance. These are all the products I'm trying to see how far I can get through slash use up. I think the Hula Benefit bronzer will be a really quick one, but then it means I get to like rotate for a few bronzers for the rest of the month, which is gonna be quite fun. So I will check back at the end of Feb, which is obviously quite a shorter month and see how, how far I've got. This is fun. I'm really, really enjoying this. I have thoroughly enjoyed Project 10 Pan in January. If that can be a favorite, that was a favorite. And yeah, there were three products in there that I proper fell in love with. One being the lipstick. I honestly, that color, I don't know why I hated it. I absolutely love it now. And then the other one was the e.l.f. eyeshadow topper. And then the other one was the Rodial base. They were the three things that like, like absolutely surprised me. And I thought I included them to try and like just finish them up and get them out or like get as far from them as possible. And yeah, and part of the reason why I'm swapping these two out is because I have fallen in love with them and I don't want to overuse them. A primer is fine because you can use it every day, but yeah, I don't want to overuse these. So I'm swapping these out. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.